Hey guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Um, it's looks like it's running. Let me restart Steam. Okay. Are you there uh, yet? I don't know. I mean, it, I didn't get an error saying any Steam user broadcasting is enabled. So it's still fucking enabled. Piece of shit. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know if they can <sighs> see us or not. All righty. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Victor Online, Sports Online, Fifty Doctor Online, Bulldog Bulldog Online, Han Online. I don't see you. You see oh. the stream? Uh, no, my iPad's always a little behind. Let me see here. Yes, I see the Kent and Greg show live. Just open that up. Wait, I have to watch a commercial. Oh, fuckers. <laughs> All right. But yes, I do see the stream live. All right. <clears throat> are, are we on? Hello? Thanks, Hello? thanks Eric. Me? Yeah, Eric can see us. All right, okay. so. I love Steve. Manage party. Four dice. Four dice. Got your invite. There we go. Alrighty. All right. So that's good. All right. This is the one where. Is this rolling rock? Yes, red back, back one. Nine? We'll play a couple more holes on the back nine and Okay. By the way, those are some kick ass pants that you got there. I like those. Thank you. Slick. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get pink ones. I was gonna say they'd be a, a lot cooler if they were hot pink, but oh. you're a manly man. You can pull it off with that deep Mafia voice ears, you could pull pink off. That's right, baby. Okay. Short par four. I should be a degenerate gambler playing crisps in Vegas. <laughs> well, thank you. Craps. Okay, it's like without our crisps. Okay, interesting. I noticed that he added uh, his secondary surface around his green. We don't have the, the lines on this one. Indeed. Set lines are good. Oh, oh, and he just stayed just on. Just stayed on. Let's see if I can do that. I actually like the way he has this uh, fairway tilted left to right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Forces you to go left. But that also puts you in danger of going in the left bunker, like I'm about to do. Yes, Am you I? are. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I like, I like be, that. That's because good. there's no contouring, you can hit any club you want. <laughs> yeah, the bunker needs some uh, depth to it. Right. Yeah. It's just like the lump. If you look where Greg's head is right now, all that needs to be sunk down there. <clears throat> yeah, a little, need a little bit of sculpting on the bunkers, but... Let's try that bunker. Oh, oh. I, yeah. Seriously, I, I like the way he he set this up. So he forces you to go left, 
towards that intimidating bunker to avoid rolling right. That's kind of cool. Fast. What else is new? I take it back. I did see the line on the back of that bunker. I think. Let me zoom in. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Never mind. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, All right, so these are now, instead of 118s, they're 163s. This this uh, green is relatively... Uh, Flat. Yeah. At least around the pin here. Probably could use a little more uh, um, attention to the... Contouring? Yeah. I'll probably still miss the fucking putt. Nope. Oh, yeah. What's up? A vac rack. A vac rack. What's up, buddy? All right. Okay. Let's see if those bumps take out of the take the wow. view out of the course. Six hundred and sixty-nine yard par five. Wow. With a tree in the fairway. And a bunker in the fairway. Interesting. Interesting. That second fairway bunker on the left there, I guess I would raise that up. He, he likes to separate his fairways and his greens. He never has any roll. I think that's kind of the, the way he likes to design. But Yep. In this particular, well, let me wait till I get to the approach. I don't know why I'm moving it left, hitting it fast all the time. No, very slow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're fuck? consistent in your inconsistency. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, for Pro Club, that bunker is coming into play, whereas it does not with the Master Clubs. I think I can get over it. If I had the wind in my face, I'd be going right in it. And I'd have to go left or right. Nope, I made it. I don't know. I don't play the fairway. Anybody can play from there. <laughs> That's true. You've been avoiding it. So 375 yards. That's a little overkill, I'd say, for yardage distance. <clears throat> Mr. Bellamy. Oh, you like the white marsh? How's Thanks, it going, man. man. Yeah, that was my last publish. Yeah, we saw that you're uh, playing through all of Ken's courses. That's very cool. Yeah, That'll thanks for that, man. That's very cool. I think you're going to be to the right of the tree. Ooh. Ooh. Wind to the left. Yeah. I don't think you have to punch that. I mean, 270. That. I mean, whatever. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the distance on this. So I think you're under it. Get up there, get up there. Oh, it's plugged. Okay. Let's see. Greg's are unplayable. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. That's a nice plug. <laughs> <laughs> They've only been in like every tour on the fucking tour, but okay. <laughs> Let me see here. I think I can hit this. Yeah, flat. but he has waste baskets at every tee box. Right. That's all that matters. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Mr. Bellamy. In fact, we're getting icy rain right now. Lots of lots of icy rain. I fully expect my power to go out at some point tonight. Damn it. We don't bury our power cables. Oh, nice shot in this town. Yeah. Now, is it just me or his front nine greens 
had a lot more contour. Contour. And on the back, they're all really, really not flat, but. And ironically, look what I did. I increased the speed from 118 to 163. So if these were 118s, they'd be they'd perfectly be flat. flat. Yeah. It's almost like he went back and said, you know, I need to lighten up on my contouring. Yeah, Au well, contraire, I, I think that they were fine in the front. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I put so, them on 163 yeah. to see if they were still playable. And, yeah, they are because they're perfectly flat. Now, this one, you know, he's got a false front going on there. Well, let's see here. That's... Ooh, okay. I like the layout of this par three. Yep, it's cl you know good lines, good sight lines. Oh. We need more water. But the greens are definitely flat. Yeah, uh, the formula we're using on the front nine, I think you should have stuck with that in the back. Your greens were, I thought, well contoured in the front. All right, so I think tame. this hole is enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just, you know, I'll let him know that we uh, we streamed it. He can check it out. Yeah, and to the designer, um, I, I really like the concepts. I think you got good layout. A little polish is needed. Um, take our, you know, our tips, you know, at face value. Don't, we're, we're not experts in design by any a stretch of the imagination um but we are reviewers for tdc tours and we've looked at about a billion courses we've judged contests um and we have designed some courses of our own so did you want to exit here or yeah okay so like right there i mean even without playing this whole uh you know that fairway flatten that so you can see the bunkers out there yeah, you know, that type of thing. So, you know, it's, you know, you got some work to do and uh, hopefully the. Yeah but, yeah, but it's a good start. You've, right. you've got the, you've got, you've, you've definitely got an eye for uh, good layouts. And I think you just need a little bit of polishing on the, the fundamentals. And I think you'll come along nicely. Again, I, I can't stress it enough. I think the best, the best advice would be just study some of the courses done by the better designers. Yep. And, you know, zoom in and look at some of their, uh, details and, and kind of try to emulate that. Yeah, Mr. Bellamy, I could do that. On a regular whole design. <laughs> yeah, I mean, regular. Yeah, I mean, I did a, uh, one of the YouTube videos has different stuff, but I it was just a mishmash, like how to create good bunkers, how to do the contouring, um, how to do water. So, Maybe I'll create one just for it because it was more more towards how to fix LIDAR stuff. Kent right. is the LIDAR guy. Yeah, I know what you mean, Mr. Bellamy. Actually, if you look at, there's one video that I took my course that failed and redid the entire course, and it shows everything I did. Um, how to fix the sight lines, contouring. So I'd have to find it though, which one it is. All right. So the last one here is now this guy. Let's see. Well, let's see what the course is about here. Pine course at Dunhill. There it is. 31 plays. We'll just play their defaults. And let's create a match. All right. He's got five T's. Sweet. Hey, all right. So we'll play black and three. <clears throat> and now, is this his first course as well? Yeah, Mr. Bellamy, this should be, uh, it, it is definitely on the YouTube channel. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry, Greg. Yeah, I don't uh, know if this is his first one. Um, let me we're look. On the back nine, just FYI. That's okay. We'll play yeah, nine. That's fine. No problem. All right. Um, yeah, we'll have to remember that for later. Uh, let's see. And for all of you people out there who don't know who Mr. Bellamy is, you should. Because that man has played more courses God bless on his him. channel than uh, I think we did in three and a half years of our show. He plays a lot of courses, and he does a lot of courses. And he does a great job. Hats off to Mr. Bellamy. I'm just looking for this thread here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now that's Rolling Rock. Where the hell's the... Ariel Adam. Okay, here it is. Please review my course, Pine Course. Oh All right. God. Bellamy's at 500 videos. Holy shit. God bless him, Oh, man. my God. That's a lot of videos, man. That is. Damn. All right, so this is what this guy that. said. Uh, I usually create courses for me and my buddies to play private matches on. One of our friends wanted – he went to the Air Force, so while he's been at basic training, I've been spending countless hours on designing this course. He oh. gets out next week so we can finally play. Uh Four pins, five tee boxes to challenge every skill level. I would love to get your feedback. And he said, within two hours of publishing, I got 30 plays and five-star ratings. So, Nice. How uh, many plays? 30. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can get that up. No woman in your life, Mr. Bowman. Yeah, why do you think I drive golf? <laughs> well, Greg's the same, you know? it's <laughs> Yeah, unless you count two uh, felons from Florida. Yeah. Which I don't. I don't count that. All right. That's cool. He designs courses for him and his buddies. Okay. Right off the bat, um, first impression, just fly over. Um, contouring seems kind of harsh, but then the edges of your fairway, I'd probably smooth that out a little bit in certain places. Good size green. I like this theme. All right, so it's aiming me out in the water. Whoa, 848 yard par six. Interesting. Very, very interesting. You don't see par sixes every day. <laughs> and it's got, it Comes gave me, a, hold on, guys. So it gave me a gap wedge and it's pointing me out in the water. So that tells me one thing. The waypoint is way the hell off. Yeah, gap wedge. <laughs> eight, a gap, yeah, gap wedge. So, What's up, Dwayne? How's it going? What's up, man? So that's where it wants me to drive my ball, right there. All right. Dwayne, I got to ask you, are we going to be seeing any what's going on? Or is that done? Just curious. I'm going to withdraw, so. So there's the, so your waypoint is way off. So yeah. move that first waypoint out where we're aimed now so that it doesn't aim you into the water and give you a gap wedge. Move it out yeah. there to about 280. Very fast. Very fast. And we with that big L, on. that'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works, man. That's cool. <laughs> It'll no, be back. And it's not you cannot do not change that club or the what do you do? I have to stick with it. Uh, yes. Well, I don't want to. You so. have to hit a lob wedge and put it right in the water. <laughs> Fuck that. With my uh, wussy clubs, though, I was There's able to a hit plane. It straight. The plane. Yeah. The plane bots. I see that. Yeah, there's some contouring issues around the edge of your fairway. Uh, again, soft fuzzy brush, fourth page, top. I up. would, I would love nothing, <clears throat> nothing more for these streams than for these guys 
to design on the PC, have a course file, and then we could take the course file and edit oh, it live. Oh. Good try. <laughs> I'm somewhere inside the clubhouse now. Now, Dwayne oh, was up there on the shit. patio having a drink, <clears throat> and you just pummeled him in the head. <laughs> so here again, look at this. Look what it's doing. It gave me a one iron and aiming me into the water. So your way points are way off. Also, do you see that helicopter? Where? Above the clubhouse. It's kind of a banking towards you, but it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. frozen. <laughs> well, that's the camera guy. Okay. It's just sitting there kind of banked and looks like it's going to fall down. All right. So never quite understood this stuff. I think, I don't know if it was Bill. Somebody mentioned it about splitting the fairway here. You never do that. All right. Just keep it one consistent piece. That's what she said. All right. So. Starting off the round with the, well, no, I'm sorry, the back with a par six. I sort of like his non contouring areas because it, it just with my fast and slow. Oh, my God. I could not be in a worse fucking spot. And you can oh. see your house isn't flat. You're see, <laughs> oh see how it's God. lifted up in the air there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, this, this, oh. <laughs> why? This is the worst spot to be. Oh shit! Get to the this, chopper. Oh my God. Okay. Well, did I get there? Yes, I'm back on the fairway. <laughs> Adam, change your freaking name every. He he tries to sneak in with different names, you know. Oh man. Four or five more shots, I'll be on the green. Well, eight hundred and forty-eight yard par oh, six. This is crazy. I'm gonna bogey it. I don't have. Uh, well, as fast as I'm hitting it all the time, this should reach the green. There's a fast. I did a cut. Yeah, look. Hit the pin. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Again, if you look at the edge of the green there. Yeah. Needs soft to fuzzy be. Brush. Soft and, fuzzy I, brush. and I will do a tutorial on this various stuff, but it would be awesome if I had these course files and we could fix their course. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, and show them that. what they're doing wrong. Yeah. Instead of talking about it, actually show them. That's yep. Cool. Yeah. Um, some good concepts. I mean, I can also say I've never started any course with a, I've never seen an 848 yard par six. And I can't even reach that at full bore. Different. Well, we got 144 speeds. Ah. I'm going to double bogey. Well, I'm I can't. I couldn't even make it up this hill. It was like a 140 yard or 40 foot putt. And I have no clue how to putt 144s anymore. Gee, I wonder why, Mr. 187. Yeah, I know. To to be fair, your his green sculpting is is not bad. Um, well, yes, it is. I don't think it's bad. This one was way from here down, like you saw how it rolled. Well, it depends on your approach. If I if I had a ooh, ooh. like look at that hill down there. Yeah, it just encourages you not to go down there, man. Well, no, you couldn't stop it from going down there. Well. I mean, you, six, I you, I don't know. You were playing your fifth shot into the green. So you had a That's nice true. short shot. That's true. That's true. I was playing a, a one iron and there's no way you're going to freaking land it uh, uh, flat. 603 yard par. Well, he likes them long. Much like my ex-wife. Now is, his retaining wall looks pretty decent. It does actually. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it doesn't look bad. You I know? would suggest using the shorter sections, but yeah, it does not look bad. The uh, I don't I don't like the uh, water's edge. I don't like the uh, 
contouring how along it bleeds that. down. It just kind of yeah falls down into the water like that. But um, hmm. interesting. All right, so I don't see an advantage of going up top. I guess it to could be shorter. Oh, well, he may that. punish. I'm going to try it. He may punish you to the point where you can't get over that wall. So let's see. Well, and yeah, with the pro clubs, I want. So it's going to hit that hill. It's going to roll down and put me right next to the wall. So you're fucked. Oh, so yeah. that, oh, and, you know, I don't let's... like that. I'll see what I got. I knew that was coming, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted to play it over there. And he has Zoom, it sloped to the wall. Yeah. Zoom, zooming into the edges of the fairway around that retaining wall. It, yeah. It needs a lot of work on your contouring. And I know that's stuff to do with retaining walls, but. Yep. Almost would have been better off just using the retaining wall on the right side there and leaving the left because it's all funky. Um, yeah. I'm going to go left. But it's a neat concept. It's a very interesting concept. Now, you're far enough back, you may be able to get over that wall. Yeah, I can't. I can. uh, uh, ooh, this is going to be almost be better. Laying out. Well, yeah, but what the hell? I'm going to go for it. That'll work. Definitely need some contouring work, especially on the edges of the fairway. Hey, what's this? I can't, I can't get it up. So I have no shot here. So, that's yeah, that's. So on a 600 yard par five, I've got to hit a lob wedge. <laughs> just to get around this corner, hopefully. Yeah, that'll work. So I wasn't going to go on this, on that side. Now I, you know, and I, but I wanted to play it and show the guy what I you can don't see that, do. I can see that, you know, what he said, he's, he, he designs these courses to play with his buddies. He, he's mostly concerned with, you know, each shot. I don't know. There, there's, there's so many different ways you could go with this. I mean, I would say you, you do need to focus on your contouring, even if it's on the, the off play areas, such as around the water and stuff. It, it, if you're looking to, to get your courses played by a water, wider audience, these are the little details that, that are going to irritate people. Um, pay attention to your contouring. I'm just going to leave it. Yep. Oh, oh. That was yeah, bad. the green is massive. And like I said on that other course, 30 by 30 is a good size to work with. Oh, look at that uphill. Six feet uphill. Right. I mean, you know, oh. you can't reach this. No, this is a football field here. Yeah, this is, it's ridiculous. So even going all the way back and slamming it, it's just going to hit the hill and come back down. Mm -hmm. And you're, and it's like up and down and up and down. Okay. So the only way I can get near that hole is chip it. So that's a fail. So if I have to chip to reach a hole, that's a problem. Off the green. So, whoops, wrong club. It's got a yacht out there in the lake. He gets the driver. <laughs> That's coming next. <laughs> Let's. Uh oh. That'll work. All right. So if I have to chip it, flop it to get near a hole, that's a fail. So we got to make this green 30 by 30 yards max or that type of size. Like Eric was saying, he had one that was, you know, 60 or 80 by 25. But the key is the 25. If it's 80 feet long, but 25 deep, depending on what the hole plays like, that's different. 
contour in here is really obvious, especially around the T box. Yeah, I don't so know what special. that big hole is there. You're 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 moving Earth around uh, willy nilly, and it's just it looks very artificial. Yeah, jerking like it up right there near the green. And this and again, this green is masked. Yeah, no, he has he has the right ideas for the design. Yep. Absolutely. Just you the know? execution it's needs just, to be right. I mean, Once this is much better than down. anything I've seen Adam uh make. I mean <laughs> this is this is evil kick ass. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think that once you get the execution down and you get your polishing down, well, I'll say it again. I mean, contouring here, once you get the contouring down, I think this would look a lot better. I mean, obviously, things like green size and you know, bunker sculpting and blah, blah, blah. But lots of good layouts, lots of good ideas, um, interesting routings. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just I just think you, you got to work on your fundamentals. Right. And, oh damn it, fast. Oh gee, I I've never done one of them. Damn it, I just made my putt. Look at it; it's going to keep going now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with the greens. Oh. They're they're freaking huge, and you know you're. I think you'll luck out, but I had like the equivalent of a 300 foot putt, which you cannot <laughs> even do. Right. You know. Yeah, Bill, exactly. He, he's got some great concept. Very creative. I'll come join you. Definitely no uh, uh, cliche autogen hole here. Right. Very unique. Oh, my God. Look at this. 133 feet. I'm just going to whack it. Yeah. But at least that's almost within range. Oh, that wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't. Actually. Best advice I can give this designer is just check out some of the tutorials. Seems like yep. we say that a lot, but I mean, really, boy, you watch a couple of the tutorials on uh, uh, done by like Andre, for instance, on on contouring and uh, green design. It'll, ooh, it'll revolutionize the way you think about course design. And the next yep. time you design a course, you'll take a quantum leap forward in what you're doing, and you'll look at everything differently. A two sixty six three. All right. Well, this this is a better. Uh, well, yeah, this is better. Green is more reasonable. We've got two tiers there. Yeah, I, I like, mean, it's I like the transitions. Yep. This this is doable. So right? it's a you know it's a two tiered green. Yep. Long. I think I'm gonna be hitting the backstop and coming back. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Now yeah, you I like go the way this plays. Yeah, yeah, I like this. What's up, Fleur York? You're going to hit the backstop and go over. Yes, I am. Just a little too long. That's not what she said. No, you're coming back. Nice. Oh, I, I planned shit. that. <laughs> He's like, I love the way he contours his greens. <laughs> you know, I, I think Adam is a cross dresser to where I Son hear him talking. Bitch. I know. I know, Mr. Bellamy. We keep we we'll we'll get it, damn it. What's that? Call of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, call. Cool. That and damn it, World of Tanks. Well, shoot, I should have buried that. I like I, that hole. I think it was a good hole. Yeah, no, I was. I like the concept of it. Mm -hmm. I think it was good. well done. And again, co the contouring on those tee boxes. Ooh. Now he took some time with the uh, shoreline here. That looks good. Yep, rocks look decent. Oh, well, not bad, not bad. Good size green. Well, they're they're pin. definitely all good size. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean it's not. You know, two football fields like some of them. 
He likes the planes. He does. All right, so I can hit the green. So I'm going to try it. Holy shit! Look at my look at my con, uh, thing there. It was at nine o'clock. Hello. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. That gives me a sandwich off the TV. It was nine nine o'clock. My uh, snap. Ah. Oh, now look at this. You can't make it. No, I'm I could have. Here. Can I make it there? So oh, I like his concepts. Go. It's like, come on, you can make this. And yeah. it's true. He has some very daring routings. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock. <laughs> That's a piece of. Oh my God, a good swing. I don't Game care turtle. it went in the water. It just went, you know, it's good. I didn't even look at the uh, the lie. 72%. So damn good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get there. Yep. Okay. All right. Wait, it's not supposed to be pointing at nine? Yeah, Jay Canyon, that's what I always thought it was. Ah. Uh, I couldn't get it up. I know, you've been telling me for years now. <laughs> Speaking of doctors, are you going to go see one or? No, no. I've got it well in hand. <laughs> right. Ooh, look at this. Doesn't matter which direction you're going in from, as long as you, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good putt. It wasn't it, though? To the man. 144s. Boy, I'm not used to those. Oh, my God. I'm finally going to join you on the unhead. Now I like I like his designing, mm -hmm. his what's in his head and how he designs it. You know, it's just yeah. the contouring. Yeah, I like these tea boxes. Yeah, yeah, but he's got he, like 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 uh, who was it that said it? <laughs> Adam. Yeah. The playability of the course is pretty cool. Yeah, he definitely uh, thinks outside the box. That's for sure. There we go. I finally hit a fairway. Congratulations. Well, I haven't, good. but... It's not bad. It uh, makes your second shot easier. Yep, good line of sight on this hole. Holy shit, a real swing. Okay. Good shot. Thank you. Wow. That is a funky shaped green, isn't it? The way it slopes left to right. Yep. We could use that. On your approach. I'm assuming that was his intent. Oh, God. Well, putting is not my... <laughs> yeah, I see Ariel Adams' uh, screenshots every night. I look forward to them 
you know, with this course. When are you publishing that thing? I mean, the pictures don't do it any justice. I want to play it because I know you're you're good in the uh, mind as far as designing. You and Dylan. Oh God, Dylan's course. Oh my God. Yeah, we never did that, finish it. I feel bad, but man, that was uh, that's think... got to be one of the most challenging courses I've played in a long time. Brutal. Yeah. But beautiful, beautifully done. Indeed. Wow. Now check out the retaining wall he's got up here. Interesting. I see it. Looking forward to zooming in on that. All right, so it's all raised up. All right, he's got some gaps here. You can look at my stream, you'll see it. Yep. yep. You know, it's brutal. I mean, they're they're tough to do. And if you're, you know, if you're a new designer, you just stay away yeah. from them. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Yeah, it is tough to do. Uh, it's a good concept, though. Elevated green with retaining wall. Yeah, and it's not only the green. He's got he's got area up there that you can hit to and screw up and be around the green, but not on it. Yeah, I'm going to have to lay up. That'll work. Yeah, this is this is a cool layout. I like it. I don't have a club for this, so I'm gonna have to try a trick. Ninety percent. You ready? Ninety. Very fast. Very fast. Nine o'clock. But besides that, it would have been perfect. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's a perfect chip flop there or pitch or whatever the hell it is. If I hadn't gone very slow, it would have been. All right, this should be perfect. Pull that pin for me, please. Got it. Wow, nice shot. Yeah, I knew it would be close. Good putt. Oh, ah, crap. Nicely done. I made a putt. By golly. Nice bird. I'm eating mistletoe with holly. I really like that hole. I thought that had a, a very unique flavor to it. Yeah, I mean, I love his design work. He's It's well thought out. On what he's trying to accomplish. Some is really severe stuff like this green. Yeah. All right. I mean, again, if you end up behind that hole, you're not going to, you're going to have to chip it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. This is, this is, uh, yeah, he, he's very creative. I like that. Once he gets his fundamentals down, he should be, he should be putting out some really, really cool yep. courses. Yeah, as long as you nice. stay on that tier, you're good. Oh, you're uh, you're judging. All right, you're forgiven. Ooh, sit, Ubu, sit. Good job. All right, I didn't see that. <laughs> It's the jack wagon. Jack wagon? Oh, we lost him. I banned his ass like an hour ago, and he's still able to get in. Must have one of those uh, twitch hacks or something. Yep, yep. Sucker. Oh, what's up, Terry? Even far. Uh, Adam? We judged this contest last year. We know what it's like. Yeah. That was, uh, ooh, that was, that a, was a lot of playing, man. Yeah, but there and, so and many good there's courses. so many freaking courses. Uh, 
it, it was so tough. It was. It was a good experience, but man, it's hard. Yeah, I mean, it's not not like it's a first designer course. Oh, look at that! Did you see that? See now, that's good. That's good strategy there. That's good strategy. Oh, I can't imagine you OCD man, Adam. I can't oh, even man. imagine. I know. I had like a whole notebook. My God! Notes. I mean, he's got to be. <laughs> he's probably friggin' writing a book. I bet. Very fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're okay. I'm all right. Not in the water. Not in the water. This is true. Well, what I did, I would go and just play the course, play every course that I had to play, record it, and then go back and actually look. You know, I would do flyovers and stuff like that. Didn't you roll a lot of dice, though? Kind of an eeny, meeny, miny, mo approach? To yeah, well, isn't that the way you're supposed to do? Just roll dice? or? <laughs> yeah. No, it was tough, man. It was. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> chip shot. Nicely done. Thank you. Oh, hell, I can, I can eagle this motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, it's all due to the points. I don't know if Eric... Um, somebody shared a, a sheet yeah. to us. On what to look for and how many points for each category. Did did you get that? Because that's what we used, you know, for the points. Wow. I I did enjoy that. Yeah, I, I mean really the did. course, the thought that went into the whole design was good. Yep, lots it, of really great, unique. Yeah, the playability concepts. of that course was great. Just some just it's some just, fundamentals that need to be worked on, and I'll say it again. Content. Yep. Yeah. Um, so the pine course, course at Dunhill was that one. Yeah, I don't understand why you called it that. That's okay. I didn't see one pine on there. No, I didn't see a single, a single pine tree anywhere. All right. That so was we, really cool. And yep. Is that the last of the three then? Yep, that's the last of the three. So oh, I don't well, know what you're doing tonight. Um, ordering a pizza, man. I'm ordering a pizza. Sweet. All oh, right. No, it's freezing rain. I mean, if you're going off, I'll just do a quick. Um, I got to find you're gonna, that. You're going to do a tutorial or something? Yeah, I'm going to show. Hold on. Let me find this uh, YouTube video I did. Yeah, I probably will exit. Um, All right, man. But, go uh, eat your dinner. It's been fun. It's been Relax. fun. Thanks to everybody that came by to watch the stream. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Maybe we'll uh, do something. Else. Oh, we should. You know what we should do? We should play like like have a marathon six hour stream of democracy. That is sweet. Fuck, and you, we'll guys, if you don't have democracy, watchers. you need to buy it. I mean, oh yeah, it's like one hundred and thirty dollars on Steam. DLC is another hundred. And, it's worth it, but it's worth it. I mean, turn turn based political uh, maneuver. <laughs> now that's some. I don't know who the hell had streaming. it that I ended up uh, buying it. Somebody had it. Maybe Wayne had it or something. I'm like, oh, what's that? And I ended up buying it. And I'm like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> I I think I played all of about I don't know hour in total. Yeah. Anyway, no, it, it was ugly. Yeah, yeah, that would All make right. a really ugly stream. Yeah, so let me uh, let me see. Did I do I still have my? I do Same. actually. Hold on. Oh, Verity Creek. Bill Sellers says, "Remember Verity Creek." Hey, we should play his Verity Creek this weekend. What do you think, Bill? Why don't we play that tomorrow, dude? Yeah, why don't we? All right, because Greg's going to take off. He's going to get some pizza. And uh, go yeah, fill his I got belly. A lot of, that I mean, I got a lot of porn to watch, so it, it takes up a lot of my yeah. Time. I mean, but uh, tomorrow I should have. Most I quite of the understand watch, but, that, right? So, yeah, Verde Creek, man. Tomorrow sounds cool. All right, cool. What what time? Uh, I don't know. You want? Uh, wh where are you I've at, Bill? I'm sure. where, where are you at located? Are you in the states? You over in the UK? Where are you?
man, I got to go way back. Let's see. St. Louis, he's in my time zone. So, yeah, cool. So it is uh, eight nineteen his time right now. All right. So I don't know. Whenever you want, Ken. I'm I'm pretty much. All right. Ready. Well, hit me up when you get up. Okay. Four thirty a.m. It is, man. Yeah, I know you get up early, don't you? <laughs> no, not that early. We can do it at like uh, I don't know. What do you say? Like, let me see, like ten o'clock, ten thirty. My time would be eleven o'clock. My time would be what noon? Your time? Yeah. Are you want to do it in the afternoon or what? Yeah, it sounds good. Whatever is good for you, man. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Here we go. So this is the second course I did. And I did a YouTube video on this freaking course. So you could see all this crap I made. This was a uh, fake, you know, a fantasy course I made up. And everything that I tell other people not to do, I did on this course. So, you know, I just raised up this whole area and made it because I wanted it to be a raised tea shop, you know. But in the process, look at it. It's total trash. So, you know, I mean, I forget who was that that said about the uh, Mr. Bellamy. That was it. So, yeah, this is a course that I designed. I think it was my second course, fantasy course. And I think the concepts were pretty decent. Except most of the stuff that I did was junk. So I can look at this and say, all right. See, I can't say anything about my bunkers because they're good. I like my bunkers. They're nice and deep and contoured and, and everything else. But, you know. What I'd be curious to find out, though, is I want to see designing a whole. Let me get out of this. So if we go new course. I always use countryside because most of my courses are countryside anyway, the ones I do LIDAR with. Um, terrain, since it's not LIDAR, I do want to have some stuff in here. And I forget if Eric, I forget who it is. I get the guy, I'm, I get him mixed up. Maybe it was Canuck. But they said about, they like to use some autogen where some guys just, they use, not rocks. But, um, you know, where they'll use some autogen stuff and then work with it from there. Layout. No, we don't want any holes. That's good. Fairway width, whatever. All right. So I think this is where the beginning guys get messed up because they leave this stuff here. Did I actually stay there? No, it didn't. So get rid of this. Par threes. Apply. Back. All right. I don't see too many trees here, guys. Did I strip them all out? I didn't want to do that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's not too many trees, are there? Do I have AutoCAD experience? No. No, not at all. Why do you ask, Mr. Bellamy? No, I do a lot of computer stuff, but that's one thing I never got involved with is that type of stuff. But, yeah, my God. I mean, that's a little too hilly. So what do you want to see, Mr. Bellamy? Just a basic, I mean, this is what Eric should be doing. And they, like I said, there's so many different, let me find my one uh, video that I did and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Need to find that sucker. I don't know where I put it. It's definitely on the YouTube channel. And it was a while ago. And it was a troubleshooting one. Is this the one? Because what I did is I went through my one, my course. And just tore it apart. Here it is. Let me let me send you this, Mr. Bellamy. So, yeah, I mean, if you do that. Yeah, I mean, this shows, that video right there shows a lot of different things. So, I mean, just a basic thing. I mean, you know, you just need to find a, and again, yeah, like people like Eric and Terry and Fritch and all those guys, they can look at this plot and say, all right, a hole's look going to look really good there. You know, and, you know, I try to, let's see. So there, let's grab my favorite brush. And make this really big. And just smooth this out a little bit. And then what I normally will do is take my measure tool and find an area I want to work with. I mean, we could just start here. So we got here. You know, there's about the driving area. And we want about, I don't know, we're going to make a par five, maybe make it about there. 
So there's my general hole layout. Scope land. Crank that baby up. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Reset it. Make this really big. Flatten that out a little bit. So we got the contouring, but not as severe. Take my tee box. Now, I like I like brushes for my tea boxes. So I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to try to leave that tree there maybe. So just take and here's that mulch. Now this is what these beginner guys are doing. They just put the shape down and they just walk away and then they have that dirt surface. So you can't do that. And especially with shapes, you can't move the mouse. So I click, I use mouse and keyboard. And then I go in here and I put the brush without touching my mouse and hit that twice or three times. Yeah, and then it gives you your nice clean edge. That's why I like to use shapes for the fairways. And we'll create a hole. And put it, you know, down here, yards to T, 294, that's good. And then I'll go over here and try to figure out where I'm going to put that T box, which is our T box, the green. So now I have a hole. And again, what the what the newer guys do now is they they have this stuff by default already planted in the default stuff, so it creates this fairway which we don't want. And I believe is that in course settings, fairway settings, we gotta change all this. That's fine. Thought it was in here. Hmm, that's not in there. Where the hell is the settings? For the fairway to get rid of the auto gen courses. See, normally I don't even put that in there. So there's the heavy rough. Where the hell's the fairway? There we go. So you got to get rid of this autogen stuff, which these guys don't know how, that, that they should do that. So they end up with that crappy looking fairway. All right. So let's see. Now, 
Now, fairways, I spline. And I could have swore I did that already. Oh, I see what happened. It put a fairway. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. As soon as it put a hole in, it put a, a default. It overwrote my uh, fair uh, tee box. That's why we have the mulch there now. So there again, that's what's happening. So they're going in. And they have this tee box set up to auto gen. So if you had one, it overwrites it. So there again, this is this is all the stuff that these the new guys are doing. So they have to get rid of all that crappy mulch. Okay. So let's do surface fairway splines. So again, what I normally do, let's go back. I measure. So a fairway shouldn't be anything more than like, depending on where you're landing. All right. Shouldn't be any more than like 20. Depending on how, what the course, this is going to be 25. And this is going to be the landing area. And then I'll probably do it like, I'm going to have to get rid of that auto gen tree. But I want to have like an S. And then I think Eric told me uh, from the tee box out, I don't think you want any more than like, I don't know, what was it, 80 yards, 90 yards? That's what you pretty much want to start with. Yeah, Bill. 170. So there's my, there's my fairway. Whoops, not that one. Let's get rid of these auto gen trees. I don't know why I put them there. I don't need any autogen plants, grasses, rocks. Because I always did like the S when I do the fairways.
So we got 170 here. You know, so I like, and I think that was a Matt Fritch thing to uh, use the measuring tool. To lay out your, your course. First. Not that it's going to be exact like that, but. So there's my fairway. Now, and this is what these guys do. So they, there's the mulch right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, depending, I, it depends what I want to do. But a lot of times I'll, uh, I'll use splines not it depends it depends i mean bunkers i like to use shapes greens sometimes i use shapes too right but here's what the noobs do so they have they'll lay down the thing with the splines and say okay we're done and that's where you get that that mulch it looks like crap because they're forgetting to go in here and edit and toggle second surface and add some rough or heavy rough and voila now your mulch is gone okay but then also they've got to make sure that they have this brush because you get these like right there i don't know if you can see it this one's not too bad, but the ripples, you get these ripples along the edge. So you got to rub this thing around and clean it up. It's running across the entire fairway or green, depending on what it is. And just that little bit makes all the difference in the world when you're contouring. All right, so now that my fairway is laid down and is somewhat clean, I'm going to get rid of these markers here. Nine, clear all. Yep. All right. And now what I'll probably do is go and and again with the waypoint notice my waypoint is 294 yards it's about a drive these guys are you know they'll have this thing over here or they'll have it here and that's why they're getting lob wedges and seven irons for your t area that's why it's so important to have this thing out where you're going to drive the ball. So, 
Let's see. Let's just throw a green up there. I don't even really care about the green. Let's see if we can actually play test this at this point. So out of the box, I can see this is a fail, right? Because I can't, I have no view. So I can stop right now, go back and edit it. And I can either raise this up. And again, I love that brush. It makes it look natural. And you can't just raise it the size of the square and raise it up. You've got to go out here. Not quite that big. Let's see. And raise that up. I don't know. Let's see. Five feet. So we've got to lower this. Because you know me with my line of sight. I've got to be able to get out there and see. So I might raise this up even more. So I want to be able to see the water, right? Do I give a little width? Well, that's the whole thing. I mean... I will take a look at this. That's why I want to do a playthrough. And again, you can see I'm raising this area up. I'm raising the tee box up, but it looks natural. I'm not, I'm not using one of the harsh brushes that, you know, they just look like hell. You can, it looks artificial. If you bring this brush out and keep raising this up, all right. It still doesn't look like anything different from the rest of the land here, right? So just once I think I got it right, I can go in here and not even play the hole. I just need to look at it. All right, so now I can see the water. And of course, hold on. And of course, my controller went to sleep. Hold on here. Let's see if we can do this. Nope. Unbelievable. All right, so I've got to get out of here. Save and exit. Hold on, guys. What a piece of shit. I hate Steam. I hate Steam. Hold on. All right, where's my test? Yeah, 
There's my hole. All right. Probably going to be about a minute behind. So I disconnected, reconnected. And let's see what this hole looks like. So 285 yards. I hit it fast. And I still almost stayed in a fairway. So that, I think, is pretty good. What's this? Could be 10 yards on one hole. What are you talking about? So if I hit this drive, That's a straight drive. I think that's fair. That's with no wind. So if we had wind, if we had wind, you'd be able to make it over the S. Now I know when I flatten these T boxes, I do tend to use the same shape. And I'll even go as far as taking this brush, whoops, this one, and bring it down really small because that'll do some damage. Just so I know my, te my T's are flat, and that's it. But as far as getting it flat, You can see how that's dipping down at the bot at the back here. So, and this is where it starts getting where it starts looking fake. So, although you might. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you can have a tee box that has a a lip on the bot on the front, but not that bad. This one looks okay. And somebody had mentioned about the water, which I think yeah, we need to bring that in. And again, I'm not even looking looking where the green's going to be. All I'm worrying about right now is the the T area or the area where we're going to hit. Now that looks pretty bad.
So yeah, I think we can stand to make that a little wider. I think that's reasonable. Fast. So I hit a hook. And it came close to staying in with the hook. So. Now, Mr. Bellamy, what I'll do is I'll end up probably splitting this piece of the video off. Now, 214 yards... And again, I don't even have a green on there yet. So just to get an idea on distance. So this is good. Octomon Club. Why do I know that? What the hell is Octomon? I need to change these uh, textures so I can actually see them. Because I like the darker textures because I can see where it's not contoured correctly. So then, I want to put something here. So I'll probably end up putting a bunker. And again, I like to do this. So... If they try to cut the corner here, they'll end up paying the price. Now, and again, it's not what it's going to look like, but I want to get the idea of if I play this, whoops, create add surfaces, bunker, rush. This is a good brush for like random stuff, you know, random shaped bunkers. Just spin that thing around. So as you can see, this thing is as flat as a pancake. So what I normally do, sculpt land, flatten, I end up using this brush. Bring that down pretty small. Sink that down about six inches. And again, it all depends how deep you like your bunkers. I like deep bunkers. So I just follow this around. 
and I try to keep that blue inside as much as possible. All right, and now I can go in here. Make this a little bigger. And that's much better. Now what I can do is go back with my regular fuzzy brush and clean it up. Get it smooth. And even at a zero, you're actually making the bunker deeper. So, if you really want to just smooth it out, you can actually set this for six inches high. And what it'll do is just go over the edge. It'll just be like taking a rake over and smoothing it out. Okay, so let's see if that even comes in play. And again, I can make that bigger, smaller. Yeah, eight inches. Yeah, I mean, it all depends what you want to do, you know? So, I could actually make this longer, but again, I don't like to keep, I don't like really big bunkers. Like right now, that sucker's pretty big. That's, uh, 32 yards across that's pretty big so if you hit if it's windy you're going over that bunker and you're going to land here anyway if you're short and you hit right avoiding the water you're going to end up in that bunker so I guess I could put another bunker. Hey, sire. Yeah, that's correct, Bills. But plus six inches should smooth it out. You know, so just like greens, I try to keep the bunkers 30 yards, 35 yards max. And if they're bigger than that, um, you need to create two bunkers, right? So I could put another bunker here. For the longer. And again, I like to do this measure. If I have an idea of where I want to go, it's right here. 30 yards is the magic number for greens and bunkers for me. I mean, 30 yards is plenty big. If it's bigger than that, 
I'm creating a new one and then maybe 10 yards deep. So there's my bunker. Now I can go in here. Whoops. And that's perfect. But so it doesn't look like a normal shape. You can just pick any other brush, make it smaller, so it looks unique. You know, I'm still trying to keep it within that 30 by 10 section. Now I can go in here and sculpt this bad boy. Again, I like this. Whoops, I don't want to raise it. I like this brush for the edge. I lower that about six inches because I like deep bunkers. Because if it's not, it's, if it's not going to punish you, why even have it there? Now, the other question is, can I see those from the tee box? Because anybody that knows me, it's all about sight lines, right? And I don't see them. All right, so I got to find out what's blocking it. And lower it. Now, I do like the raised brush in this aspect because I don't want to mess with the contouring. So if I use the raise, it'll keep all the contouring the way it is and just lower it. So I'm going to take this area here. Again, it's all about macro. You're not using little tiny spots. See how it keeps all the contouring exactly the same when you use the raised brush and you lower it. because I don't want it looking flat, right? And then I can actually take this bunker and raise it. Again, I like the raised brush because it's not gonna screw with my, the height, you know, my contouring in the bunker. It'll keep the contours that I created. I just want to raise this back edge up a couple feet. And again, using big brush so it looks natural. I'll lower this down a little bit. Raise this up a little bit. So you can see that back lip. But with the raised brush, you don't have to worry about it redoing the bunker and have to re-sculpt it. So now I can see the bunker down there.
So that's the secret with the uh, raised brush. You don't have to worry about screwing up your contour where the flap, you know, if you're doing the lower, it will affect the contouring all around here. What's that? So take this out and make this wider. And that's the only problem with shapes. Shapes are a pain in the ass to remove if you're creating more than, you know, if you use several shapes, you got to go in there and delete each one. This one's not bad because it's only two. So... And again, you know, like if we end up saying, all right, we want to redo this. Now we want to use the flatten brush and bring this up. You know, if, if we change our mind and say, all right, we don't want this bunker anymore. This will smooth it all back out. And we can start over. Who was that? Hunamat? I'm only seeing some of the chats here. Oh, no, man. So somebody said, oh, well, take that bunker out and expand the the fairway and we can do that very easily all right and that's the beauty of putting the markers here right so we can just get rid of these suckers and then if we have a change of heart on how we want to edit this you know we can make this wider and sometimes you can get away with just deleting this entire spline point. If you have too many, you can delete it. Like this one, I'm going to get rid of it, which will it should straighten that out a little bit. You just don't want to hit delete path or you'll be in for a rude awakening. So we'll delete that point. See how it's straightened it out here. We could also do it here. So instead of screwing with all these different splines and cleaning it up, if all we want to do is widen it, we can do that just by deleting a spline. So you see that? Then we can start working with these. Yeah, you know, and if you go too far, just undo it. You can hit the, uh, in my case, the U button. And you get the handle of it. How far in you're going to go. And of course, you want to make it look pretty smooth. So...
and that's the thing with these splines. I know Eric goes crazy with these things and spends so much time lining up each spline to make sure that it's perfect. I don't really have the patience for it, but all right, so we made this wider. I don't even know how much it is now. Yeah, I mean, that's that's almost 40 yards. That's pretty sufficient. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, let's play this thing. All right, so like here, I can't see my bunker. I want to see my bunker. I can't see it. So I can see the hill that's blocking it. And it is right there. So again, I make it really big. Now you can try doing it one fell swoop, or you can just go down a foot at a time. And it doesn't really matter with the fairway now if you flatten it because you're going to go back anyway and contour the fairway. Now I can see my bunker. Let's check it out. So now I can see my bunker, I think, right? Yep. And I definitely need a bunker in there because people are going to go over here to avoid the water. Boom, right there. And if you don't aim right, you're going to pay the price. So we definitely need a bunker in there. Oh, uh, you're what? You're cleaning up splines? And, yeah, there are ways. So you're saying away from the water, Adam, what are you talking about? You mean sloping from the water over on the to the other side?
So you're sl you're saying sloping. You talking a fairway? You talking the green? Okay, for the green. Yeah, I mean. And I know Matt Fritch, he loves to do something like this. He'll he'll spline this area out. Now, again, I'm assuming that's not too freaking big. Let's see from there. That's 55 yards. That's huge. That's a huge ass bunker. So that's too damn big. So what I could do is if I do one bunker over there. So if I want bunker here, 55 yards worth of it. Whoops. I need to create two different bunkers there. So as far as a green, I'll use, uh, now first thing I'm going to do is measure, right? Get an idea of how big 30 by 30 is. So we got, whatever, let's see, it's a par five. So we can make this like 40. And we're going to come in with a long iron. So 35 maybe. Let it run out. So there's my green size somewhat. And I know some guys use splines. It depends what I do. Whether I do... Uh, Pending. I mean, let's see. And just like bunkers. Get a general size or shape of what I want. Oops, that's the one thing you don't do with shapes. You don't move it. You're screwed. So I got to start over. You can't move it. So click. Let's do some... Uh, Fairway.
Could actually make this into a long ass par four. All right, let's see. So, sculpt land, I'm flatting, flattening. Again, I make this thing huge. I want to contour this green myself. And now it should be nice and flat. With no contouring. But anyway, so contouring of greens is important. And there's lots of different things you can use. You can use all sorts of brushes. Um, and some of the funky ones actually work pretty well, like these. You can use these, you know, I don't, you know, you end up with these greens that are completely flat, which suck. So just to give you a little bit of undulation, so you can't just hit a freaking perfect putt, you can raise this up about five inches and use this type of brush. That will make it. Just a little bit. All right, so you don't have any flat spots. All right, and then you can create, you know, a two tiered green. <laughs> Just pitch the damn thing. <laughs> don't make me come over there, Adam. So, Let's say you want a two-tiered green. You could grab something like this. Spin that bad boy around. Make it fairly big. And raise that about a foot. Now, I can see right now that is, it's too close to the front edge or back edge. So we're going to undo that. And we're going to bring it down here. Make this smaller. Because we have to have a big enough landing area up top. Oh, that's not the brush I'm looking for.
Let's try about eight inches. And then you got the advanced edit, which is pretty cool. Whoops. So we're going, it's going up and it's fairly flat back here. And then like Adam said, you just, you can actually just raise one side of the green up. And then, of course, I always like fast and firm. Hey, no biggie. All right, I've had enough. So, I'll finish this bad boy tomorrow. But, Adam, take it easy, buddy. It's still get your damn course fixed or set up. All right, Bill. Take it easy, and uh, we'll probably see you tomorrow sometime. All right. Take it easy.